Hi everyone, today I'm going to make three easy salmon dinners that you can make in about 20 minutes. They're loaded with flavor, but still good for you. And the best part is you really only need one pan to cook them in. Let's jump right in and start by cutting our salmon. So when you pick out your fish, get them to trim off the belly so you have a nice piece of salmon like this. I prefer to cut the salmon into blocks instead of long skinny pieces. It's going to cook more evenly and it's more forgiving if you overcook it. I also take the skin off so I can get all of the bloodline off of the filet and end up with a beautiful piece of salmon. But if you like the skin, then just leave it on. Let's start our first dish with smashed garlic cloves. Just hit them with your hand and take the skin off. Cut some red and yellow peppers. Julienne some red onion. This is the top of the fennels and we're just going to pick little fronds and use this for a garnish later. They're loaded with flavor. Then julienne some fennel. I'm also going to shave some fennel with a mandolin and we're going to use this for a garnish at the end of the dish. Some picked parsley leaves and then we're going to season with lemon juice, salt and pepper. Now let's cook our fish. First we need to season with salt, fresh cracked pepper, and olive oil. Make sure you season both sides. Now we can add our salmon to a hot pan with oil. We're gonna cook this for about three to four minutes on one side only. This is gonna give us about a medium rare fish, which is how I like it, because it'll overcook the medium. Then we can flip our fish and add some butter. We're gonna use this to baste the fish. This is just gonna add extra flavor to the dish. If you wanna keep it healthy, then just omit the butter and just let it rest. Once I take the fish out of the pan, I just wipe it clean with some paper towels and we can move on to the next step of the dish. We're gonna start by caramelizing our garlic and olive oil. Once it's caramelized, we can add in our peppers, our fennel, and our onions. Once our vegetables start to get some color, we're going to season with salt and pepper. We're also going to add fresh rosemary leaves. Then I like to put all my vegetables and fish onto a paper towel. This is going to just soak up any extra oil so we're not going to get it all over the plate. The last thing we need to do is build our plate. We just do that by putting all our vegetables down, add our fish on top of that, and then take our salad of shaved fennel and parsley and then mix that together, put it right on top of the fish. This one's really tasty. You get sweetness from the peppers and the onions, the fennel gives a nice licorice flavor to it, and the acid from the lemon juice helps cut through the fattiness of the fish. The next dish we can start with some julienne onions and some chopped garlic. Cut the cherry tomatoes in half. And then our dandelion greens. These are one of those things that often get overlooked in the market, but are definitely worth trying. They're higher in vitamins and nutrients than kale and have a better flavor. We also need some basil, and my basil is flowering right now, so I'm going to use this as a garnish. But it's edible and has tons of flavor. Then we just need to pick the leaves to use when we're cooking. Cook our salmon, baste it, and let it rest. Then we cook our onions and garlic in olive oil. Add our basil, tomatoes, and dandelion greens. 
We don't want to cook this too long, just until the greens are wilted. It should only be about two to three minutes. And make sure you season with salt and pepper. Take out the cooked vegetables and let it rest on a paper towel. I'm making a quick balsamic butter. This is just balsamic and butter reduced down to a sauce consistency. If you don't want to make this, then you can use an H balsamic or balsamic glaze would be great on this too. I like this one because when you bite into the cherry tomatoes, they pop like little tomato gushers and the acid from the tomatoes helps with the richness of the salmon. The last dish we're going to start with julienne onions. And then we're going to trim our green beans. Chop a couple garlic cloves and crush our hazelnuts. If you don't have hazelnuts, almonds will work great for this too. Again, we start by cooking our salmon, basting it and letting it rest. Now we can start cooking our garlic and onions. And season with salt and black pepper. Once there's some color on the onions and garlic, move it aside and add the green beans and some more oil. I don't want the onions and garlic to burn, so I'm just going to put them on top of the green beans while they cook. Cover the pan with a lid and let these cook for about two minutes. You can see the green beans have a little bit of char on them. This is how I like it, but if you like them a little softer, then you can add some stock, put the lid back on and cook it for another minute or two until they're tender. Now we can make our sauce by toasting our crushed hazelnuts and butter. Once they have some color, add some chicken stock, a little bit more butter and season with salt and pepper and your sauce is finished. Salmon and green meats is such a classic pairing, and then just elevating a little bit with the hazelnuts toasted in butter, this is a really delicious dish. Thanks for watching my video on how to make three easy salmon dinners in 20 minutes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment and let me know what some of your favorite quick dinners are. See you next time.